Today, we're at the Pioneer Town Motel in Pioneer Town, California. This unique Western-inspired location was built in 1946 by Roy Rogers. We're here with Hernan Rodriguez, who's doing a 1940s-inspired editorial shoot with his model, Amber. Hernan, you got one lens to do a full commercial shoot. I'll make it happen. Well, location seems to be everything in an image. Here is it's Pioneer Town, so it's more of a Western feel to it. I want it more like Vogue meets the rodeo. So you know it's a Western scenario, but the, the makeup is bold. Her top is more fashion forward, so, you know, we still make it our own, though the background is giving a little bit of, of that feel to it. I find the shots I want, but they're your expressions. That's the appeal, I guess, in my portrait work. It's like, you know, be yourself, make it a provocative image. This is this is with the with the strobe, right? That's with That's, the strobe. Yeah, yeah. It looks very natural, though, you know. Yeah, it looks very natural. You know, so when we were shooting earlier, we were trying to get natural light, but of yeah. course the contrast, the ratio is pretty extreme. It's a four-stop difference. Right. So the main light is still the beautiful light I exposed for that. Right, and this just fills and in the just shadows. Fills in the shadows a little bit. Yeah. Most photographers think that because the sun is at a certain direction, let me put the fill on the opposite side. It's a mistake because that's where you introduce the artificial right. touch of the photographer. You don't right. want to see the artificial light. Today I'm using the Tamron 24-70 2.8. If I were to use only one lens, it would be the 24-70 for this whole scenario. It allows me to incorporate the background. I could also come in with the 70, get really tight, and create some beauty portraits. So it's almost like a landscape photographer meets a fashion photographer. Final shots, I wanted to create more of a, a bow look. You know, again, we were going towards that 40s look, and I still wanted to create that, but I wanted now to have the sunlight be the, the rim light. And once I get that exposure, all I do is light the face to taste. <laughs> so the next time you're looking to do an editorial shoot, make sure you communicate with your model, keep your lighting simple, and choose an excellent location. <laughs>